Muggo's Raft. Tutu had a problem. It was one week before Muggo's robot graduation day, and Tutu still had no idea what present to get for him. Muggo's house was already full of gadgets. Tutu spent the first few days of the week thinking. She thought and she thought until suddenly she had an idea. Muggo spent way too much time indoors. Tutu would give him something to use outside. She would build him a raft to race down the river. Tutu had never built a raft before. In fact, she had never even seen a raft before, except in books. She went to find Penelope. How big is a raft? Tutu asked her. Penelope scratched her horn. Hmm, she said. I don't know. She thought for a moment. Well, a raft must be big enough to fit a muggo. They ran to find their friend. Penelope told Muggo to lie down on the carpet. Measure him! She cried. Tutu got on her knees and crawled carefully around Muggo, laying her hands down one after another. She found that Muggo was five hands wide and eight hands long. She carefully recorded her results. The raft needed to be just that size to fit her friend. Tutu tucked the measurements under her fur and ran to find her friend Chipmunk. With all her nest building, Tutu figured Chipmunk must be an expert carpenter. The raft must be five hands wide and eight hands long to fit Muggo. Tutu said. Chipmunk tittered excitedly. Then she measured five hands wide and eight hands long. She was up all night building a raft for Muggo. When Tutu saw the raft, she was perplexed. It was tiny. It looked way too small to fit Muggo. Why is this raft so small? She asked, wringing her hands nervously. Suddenly, it came to her. This raft was not five Tutu hands wide and eight Tutu hands long. It was five Chipmunk hands wide and eight Chipmunk hands long. Tutu got out a bucket of finger paint and dipped her hand inside. Then she pressed it down onto a piece of cardboard, cut it out, and brought it back to Chipmunk. Chipmunk used the cardboard version of Tutu's hand to measure five hands wide and eight hands long. Then she built a raft to fit Muggo. When Muggo's graduation came, Tutu brought him to the river, unwrapped the present. And helped him climb aboard. The raft was a perfect fit. Muggo jumped for joy. The rest of the party goers looked a little jealous as Muggo zipped up and down the river, but not for long. Using the cardboard copy of Tutu's hand, everyone in town soon built their own perfectly sized raft. One day, Muggo came up with his own measuring device. And he built a raft big enough for two.